you're part of the track and field community or if you're from Eugene, Oregon, you probably know about Steve Prefontaine. He was a great American distance runner in the 1970s and died in a um, tragic car accident right here where I'm standing uh, here in Eugene. And, and uh, there's been m multiple movies that have been made about him without limits, Prefontaine, uh, Fire on the Track, a lot of a lot of really good movies if you're interested in kind of the whole story of Steve Prefontaine. And it seemed like whenever he came out onto the track, the sun came out. Steve was the best athletic competitor I've ever seen anywhere at any time. Even though you didn't want to be, you were intimidated by his aura. He knew that there was more to himself and his destiny than just a normal existence. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is the is kind of the area that um, there the had the car crash, and uh, it's very well documented. In fact, it's it's this is called Pre's Rock, where it's kind of an odd memorial. Um, I guess you know, showing where someone crashed and died, but um, it's a place where if you're a runner and you come to Eugene, Oregon, you visit and um, pay your respects. So he was driving down this road after a uh, uh, late evening and and was was driving around this curvy road up in the hills of, of Eugene, Oregon and and lost control of his car. He was driving a convertible and hit this rock right here, right there. And then it flipped over on top of him and he uh, suffocated, passed away. One of America's best hopes for the 1976 Olympics, long distance runner Steve Prefontaine is dead. Prefontaine killed early this morning when his car flipped over. Prefontaine was 24. For some reason or another, he moved very sharply to the left, cut left enough so that he, uh, uh, his wheel hit over the curb. He lifted the car enough so that when it hit the big stone embankment, flipped the car over on top of him and uh, basically crushed him, basically suffocated him. To this day, nobody knows for sure what caused Pre to lose control of his car. He died before an ambulance arrived. He's holding on. He's holding on. He sees it in front of him. 
but he finally got it through my head that the real purpose of running isn't to win a race. It's to test the limits of the human heart. And that he did. Nobody did it more often. Nobody did it better. There's a lot of factors that make me run. But probably the biggest one is that I enjoy it, or I have acquired an enjoyment for it after so many years of running. It's part of my life now. Another reason would have to be the Olympic Games and trying for a gold medal. And the third thing would have to be competition. I love to compete against people. He had just begun to reach maturity when this show was over. And that was a, a, a great loss to, to track and field when we lost free.